Welcome to RemoteShack.com. In this video, we're going to describe the CMI1 client microphone interface. It's the latest and greatest accessory for the Remote Shack line of products. And what it allows you to do is basically connect a push to talk standard microphone such as this one uh, up to your phone iPhone, iPad, or Droid phone. Uh, it allows you full functionality of the PTT lever, uh, uh, which sends signaling uh, over your phone or iPad back to the remote shack to key and unkey the radio. And of course, you have your 12 keys here uh, that allow you to send standard uh, remote shack DTMF commands to control your station. Uh, in addition, we have four additional buttons, A, B, C, and D, uh, that will allow you to basically control the phone's functions. It's the same functions found on uh, on a headset that have the plus and minus buttons and the hang up. And they're there on that uh, on the DTMF microphone so that you can take a call if need be. Uh, if you're on the remote, just hit the A and it'll take the call. If you hit B and C, it's volume up and down. And then D is for muting the microphone. Up in the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll see the radio uh, that we are remote controlling, uh, the remote station along with the remote shack controller uh, on top of the rig. It's an I, uh, ICOM IC7000 uh, and it's connected uh, to the remote shack and the remote shack is connected to a computer running Skype waiting for our call. Uh, also, the uh, video output of the IC7000 is connected to a video input device, uh, which is then uh, used as a webcam input for Skype so that we can see our video when we're on the road. If your rig doesn't have a video output, that's okay. Just simply set a webcam in front of your display of your radio before you leave, and you can have the same uh, effect. So let's go ahead and uh, show you what comes with the client microphone interface. Uh, you get the interface itself, as you see here. You get the DTMF microphone. We'll go ahead and plug that in. And you get the four-pole cable that plugs into the interface and then plugs into your phone. In this case, it's a Samsung uh, Galaxy Note. Then plug that in. Okay. Also, you have to decide what you're going to use for receive audio when you're in the field. Of course, you can use a standard headset such as this one, okay, over-the-ear headset. Uh, that's a three-pole plug on it. That's okay. You can use a three- or four-pole plug, or you can use a headset such as this one. It doesn't really matter uh, with a four-pole, 3.5-millimeter uh, connector. Okay, simply plug it into the interface. In this particular case, I'm going to use an amplified speaker so you can hear the remote. It's a Logic Tech. It's a very high quality, a great sound from this little guy. We'll go ahead and plug that in. Now, you don't have to use a headset or an external speaker. You can plug it into the auxiliary port of your vehicle uh, if you'd like and, uh, and then get full bodied sound out of your speakers from in your vehicle, which is another method. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll give our remote a call here on Skype. Skype is running already, and we'll give a video call. We'll shut off our send video. Set up the display the way we like it, and we're all set. In order to wake up the controller, we hit a star. Go ahead and hit a star. Enter your passcode. And then we'll enter in our passcode. Welcome. All right, now from here we can send out our normal commands uh, for controlling the remote shack. We can scan the band. Uh, we can uh, stop. stop. We can set memories if we want to. Let's see here. We can fine tune. Slow scan. Or we can even directly enter in a frequency if we want to. Star zero one four two five zero zero star.
And then we have uh, our volume up and down, as I was telling you about earlier, which allows us to control the remote level right from here. Okay. And then once we go into transmit mode, uh, we can uh, go ahead and transmit. and just key the mic. KI4, Yankee, United Mary, testing. So you can see the delay there. It's not too bad. You get full courtesy tones in both directions, letting you know that the uh, transmitter is up and down, just like you do on the normally on the remote jack. Okay. And that pretty much does it for the client microphone interface demonstration.